Witness the terrifying true story of a man driven mad by a horrific accident, possibly after one bad day. Dressing up as a killer clown, he goes on a bloody rampage. Let me put a smile on your face. Only one man can possibly stop him. Because hot on the heels of this nightmarish sideshow freak is a determined but eccentric detective vowing to bring him down. See Peter Cushing in his finest role yet as the mysterious but brilliant detective Batman and Vincent Price in one of his most famous roles as the killer clown known only as the Joker. You will be thrilled, you will be chilled, but you'll not be leaving the theater wanting a refund. Hello everyone, watch this review here. What the... Wait! <laughs> Hi everyone, Joker here. Watch this review had to step out for a minute, or walk out, and at any rate the important thing, he's out. And you know what? The Joker is in. So I figured I would review this handsome fellow here and, you know, give some thoughts, as it were. Or is, even. <laughs> uh, watch this review, I knew you well. But, uh, very nice portrait here of, once again, an incredibly handsome fellow. I mean, sure, he need to have a little work done, but don't we all? In fact, I'm thinking of working over our reviewer friend a little bit later. Other figures in the wave don't matter. So let's get this guy out of package. <laughs> now this figure comes with... Oh look, it's my business card. What? You say there's no contact information? Oh, don't worry. You won't need to find me because I'll find you. <laughs> no matter where you're hiding. Also comes with this cute little evidence bag, perfect for holding knives and pocket lint. But enough about that stuff, let's get to the meat of the review. Ah, this figure hardly does me justice, but what can you expect? I'm a work of art. <laughs> now, uh, one of my chief complaints is the poor head sculpt here, and, you know, the somewhat standard paint. Also, the complete lack of a real good paint job and material use on the clothing. I mean, it looks like a cheap purple suit. Certainly not the kind bought with stolen gangster money. But it's a soft rubber, and if you wished, you could probably remove it. But, hey, you know, what are you without style? Now, oh, be sure to ignore that. Sound that sounded like a door opening in the background. That's on my side, not yours. No need to get up, I assure you. Now, as I was saying, he also comes with this little knife here. Another version of the figure had a card, but what's the Joker without a good knife? You know, detail-wise, you know, so-so figure. Articulation-wise, though, we have a rotating wrist, single-joint elbow, Sort of ball-jointed shoulder. Oh, don't don't bother getting up. That noise background. Once again, that's me, not you. Oh, by the way, have you heard the one about the insane clown that went around stalking and killing people who saw this review? Oh, you haven't? Well, stick around. <laughs> no ab or torso joint. Leg goes out forward. Oh, dear. It seems to have chipped just from that. What a cheap plastic. Ah, what can you do? And it also kicks out. You'll notice that the inside is painted a little bit, but not a lot. Rotating thigh, rotating knee. Oh, no, oh, please don't turn around. Again, that noise, totally on this side. And over here we have a little amount of movement here at the ankle. So, all in all, not an exceptional figure, although I gotta love that hair. All in all, you know, it's a good attempt, but this figure, it could use a little makeover. Then again, <laughs> so could you. 
You can turn around now.